Hey guys, it's me Molly. So today I have a thrift haul. So the first portion of this video you saw me thrifting and this was on Labor Day. It's now a couple weeks past Labor Day, but it's still September. So I am plan on pre-filming today, so I'm doing another haul video um, and it's going to be a Depop haul, so keep on the lookout for that. So if I look the same in another video, that is why. I am going to show you guys what I got at Savers on their Labor Day sale. They had 50% off well, about 50% off on bed, bath, and clothing, and accessories. So, yeah, they had pretty good deals, and I got quite a bit of stuff, um, at least for this haul. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Let's get into it. So, first, I just kind of strolled around by myself, um, and my mom kind of did her own thing, which we tend to do a lot. But um, sometimes I'm either, like, right beside my mom, or I just go and do my own thing. But I found this Polaroid camera, and I'm guessing this is probably from the 1970s, maybe the 19, early 1980s, um, but it has like the directions on how to use the Polaroid camera on the back, and it's like a metal piece of, and it just like slides right in. And this is their, how to use this Polaroid cold clip number 194. So, I don't know. I think there's, I think, different directions on how to use the camera. But, um, you can see it's a little, um, broken on the inside. Um, and so I'd have to maybe see if I could ever use it. But I just thought it was more of, like, a really cool factor to have this. And it was $6, um, which I don't think is too bad for an older Polaroid camera. Um, I have the Kodak Color Burst, which is, like, my only other... Polaroid that like I can't use or Polaroid that I can't use. That one was actually recalled in the 19, late 1970s I believe um, because Polaroid was suing Kodak for using a same, um, a similar design to theirs and Polaroid's obviously a big brand so. But this is an older version and I just thought it was really cool and I was like looking at it and it's still in like really nice condition for how old it is so I picked this up. Then I saw this hat last minute. It's just kind of like a weird shaped hat and it's black velvet and I thought that I could kind of either pin it or sew it in a way to make it look like one of those hats that um, is kind of like a head wrap but I have this um, idea for an outfit with this so I'm hoping that it will work out but it was like three dollars and I was really excited to get this. Then as you saw in the try on when I was in the fitting room um, I was kind of joking around with this one and I thought it was so fun. So it's a brand new which I didn't even realize it's from Sears from like the 19 probably the 1990. It could even be as early as like the 1980s but it's by Carriage Car uh, Oh, I thought it's a carriage count. It's carriage court. It's a size large. It was $7.99, so it was like, I think, closer to $4, like $4.50. And it has buttons up the front, and it has pockets on the sides, and then it has like a summer print. So it's just um, like there's a beach chair with an umbrella, um, a sailboat, an island with some palm trees, somebody um, water skiing, and... Uh, those are the little prints and it's like a really cool color it is see-through so i'll probably wear like a slip underneath or something but i thought this was really great for like an end of the summer find that i could definitely pull out next summer and it actually fits super comfortably so that was awesome then i got this number which is upside down but i got this and it's a black striped um with like a gold um stripe turtleneck and it is from charter club and it was $6.99 and it's a size large and it fits very comfortably. It reminds me kind of like something that my grandma would wear um, with like her cute little like capri trousers and like her kets. She always wears kets. And um, I don't know, I really like this. I really like layering dresses with like long sleeves underneath or even short sleeves. So got that and lastly I had my mom buy this because like I was like I'm in college back to school um, 
$10.99. It's an American Eagle dress. And I think it shrunk in the wash. It was definitely worn a lot by the person that had it prior. Um, but that's what I like about it because, you know, the thing about thrifting is like obviously the pieces were worn or sometimes they're brand new like that romper. It just makes things 10 times more interesting and gives it character. Like I never really expect anything to be perfect when I pick it up at a thrift store. I just love the feel of this one. It's definitely really comfortable. I like literally saw a million different outfits that I could pull off with this. So I was really excited. Um, I was actually thinking about this thrift video. I wanted to do like a lookbook um, haul instead of like an actual sit down haul um, just to like change it up. But I think I might do that for like another one um, when I have like more outfits planned. But yeah, I got a lot of great feedback on my last thrift um, thrifted like 90s inspired lookbook so thank you if you came from that thank you for watching my videos and subscribing um like every time i go on my channel i at least have one or two more subscribers and like my heart just like bursts into happiness like oh my gosh i just get so excited so i definitely want to keep up with these videos and not just like thrifting stuff but also like um my lookbook that i worked forever on which was my stranger things lookbook if you guys want to watch that um you can definitely put it in the eye thing i've never used that before so we'll try it but um but um I have a million other ideas. I'm actually working on a clueless one right now. I have nothing filmed for it, but I have my um, spreadsheet for it, um, my blueprint. So I have lots of ideas. This head is always going um, one way and I'm going the other, so I'm always trying to figure out time to do stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. It means the world to me. If you came from the Thrifting Amino app, hi! Uh, my name is Molly. I make thrifting, fashion, lifestyle videos. I've been on YouTube forever and I'm finally taking it more seriously, maybe because I am an adult now. Um, but no, for real, I've loved YouTube since I was 12 and I've had a YouTube channel since I was 12. It's been like seven, almost eight years since I've been on YouTube. And leave your channels below if you have a similar channel. I love thrifting videos and we can be a cute little thrifting YouTube community as well as the thrifting amino community. So yeah, and if you don't know what the thrifting amino app is, um, I'll link it down below. It's super fun. So again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.